today is brought to you by Enhanced Property Appearance. Who get your crib paint and enhanced property busting the business, man. Alpha Roofing. Oh man, that roof too. I know your roof be leaking when it start raining outside. And Envision Production Agency. Got the best pictures, videos, or whatever. He pull up on you in a drone anywhere in the city. Check him out. Welcome to Street Success Podcast with Frankie. And I got my man Juan. It's the barber in the building. What's going on, man? What's up with you, Juan? What's going on, y'all? Appreciate y'all for having me up here. Appreciate, appreciate you coming, you. man. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, sure. so Lil put this all together. Uh, what made you uh, decide to reach out to Juan and even, you know, have have this happen? Um, I feel like Juan is a, like, perfect example of, like, coming, like, from the bottom and, yeah. and succeeding, especially, like, where we come from. Like, in our area, Strawberry Mansion section, I feel like he's, like, a perfect example of everything, like, a young person can look up to as well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. Sure, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, yeah. Right and now. it's it's crazy because we see where your story's at now, where you're at now. And we were just talking about you still want to go further. But even to get mm -hmm. to where you're at now is successful, honestly. Oh, for sure. For um, real. And now like, is a good time to really see how you got there. Not for sure. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, we usually started off with just, you know, asking some questions about where you're from, upbringing, family, stuff like that, school. And then we could get into, like, how you dove into your career. But... Yeah, tell us, tell people that don't know a little bit about you. Well, yeah, yeah. For y'all that don't know, I'm Juan the Barber. You feel me? I'm from North Philly. You feel me? Strawberry Mansion section. You feel me? You know, coming up, you know, this shit is hard down the way. And just being from poverty, seeing certain shit every day, just the, you know, a lot of distractions. You feel me? Like easy to get caught up in. I mean, so you know, I grew up down north. You feel me? And Went to school, went to school to, uh, went to Richard R. Wright Elementary. Mm -hmm. I mean, went to Dobbins, went to Fitzsimons, all the neighborhood, all the neighborhood schools. schools that was like close in the area. So I ain't never really had to travel too far, you feel me? Yeah. So, you know, all my schooling was in close home, walking distance and shit like that. That's that's where, you know, I grew up at. What about oh, SMS? Yeah. Strawberry Mansions, that's a message, Strawberry Mansions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about siblings and upbringing, like family members? Siblings, shit, I got one big brother. Okay. You feel me? I ain't got no sisters, nothing like that, no little brothers, nothing like that. I got one big brother, you feel me? That was a, that's another example, you feel me? And you feel me to just, just, and I got a bunch of everybody in the community that I know, you feel me? Yeah, and it was just, like family. Yeah, everybody mm -hmm. family, for real. How was it like, like, coming up, like, as far as, like, um, negative influence and, st and stuff like that. Like, how did you avoid letting that play a role into your success? Well, I ain't gonna lie, man. I always been a cool motherfucker. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, always you know. I always had my own mind, you feel me? And I always had my own path with shit. And like, and I, I feel like the way, I, the way I handled a lot of shit and carried shit, like being around a lot of certain shit is like, just you gotta be yourself, man. You yeah. feel me? That's where it started at, you feel me? Being yourself. And and knowing like being yourself, that shit is just as cool as trying to be somebody else. That like people, you know, everybody try to look and be like, oh, I want to be like this person. You could be yourself, you feel me, and create a a cool. You create a cool person, you feel yeah. me. But mm -hmm. I avoided it by just trying to stay busy and locked in on on certain shit that I know I wanted to do. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. I kind of had a, a a mindset. I was I grew up fast like as far as having to take care of like a lot of shit like like working I always worked early so I mm -hmm. always was trying to stay close to money I played sports you feel me that's what I did before cutting hair so everybody kind of knew me for playing sports you feel me getting dressed the girls you feel me like yeah. that was all the cool shit to me you feel me but you know mm -hmm. Just you know, coming up in the hood, you know you gonna you gonna have certain shit. You gonna have that's that's what any hood. You feel me? So you just gotta be yourself, bro, and have your own mind. And like I said, basketball. I was playing basketball from like as a kid. Did you play in football. like for your schools? Yeah, I played sports in every school I've been in, like elementary school, middle school, high mm -hmm. school. How were you in yeah. school, like grades wise? Like you always had good grades, attendance, stuff like that. I, 
Shit, I was like everybody else, bro. Like I'm, yeah, I was, yeah. I, I got in where I fit in, bro. So it's like whatever, wherever I could find a finesse at, I finesse. You feel me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But as far as schooling, like I, I like to go to school. You feel me? That's where the chicks was at. That's where, mm-hmm. you. That's where everybody was at. So it's like yeah. being suspended. You kind of wanted to be at school when you. I mean, when yeah. any time you get suspended or something like that, you wanted to be in school. So I always was at school and shit. You know, I didn't go to school sometimes. You feel me? But you know. Just to always t- playing sports though, and having mm-hmm. like somebody check me when I go left, like an older person or something like that. You feel yeah. me? When you feel like you about to go, you mean just some people don't have them older people though to yeah. check them, oh, especially sure. nowadays, bro. You know it's rare where we come from. Oh, for so. sure, and, yeah. I, and a lot of times it only it, it wasn't even coming from like no like. No, it'd be like an older person that might have been, you know, that that know my folks and shit like that. Like my yeah. my mom, everybody grew up in the section for real. Yeah. So it's like it wasn't just I got there and everybody just know me. No, it's people in my family that was in the SMS that people know already. Looking out, they were me? just looking out, doing what they're yeah, supposed to do. So it's like, yeah, mm-hmm. so everybody knew them, and it, you mean so it's like they see me doing something, they going, yo, what you doing? You feel me? But, mm-hmm. So, so what made you want to like getting into cutting hair and becoming a barber? It's crazy. Like I, I give all the uh, thanks to my mom. You feel me? Cause mm-hmm. I was at Dobbins. You know, Dobbins. That's like a vocational school and shit. So, you know, they got different trees. It's different shops. Like they got culinary. They got baking, fashion. They got the cosmetology for the girls. They got yeah. barbering. So. In tenth grade, you gotta kind of pick like a like in college, trade. like a trade. Like you gotta pick right there, so you know your next years to come, you gotta start yeah. focusing just on that. Mm-hmm. So in tenth grade, you know I was playing ball f- as a freshman and sophomore, so I had to pick my trade. But I was going to transfer and go to Mansion. You feel me? Yeah. To play ball with everybody. You feel me? Because that's like I was trying to go to school for ball. But in tenth grade, when they threw that out there. I'm like, damn, Barbara, I'm like, that's something I could probably fall back on, like, like later on, like, say basketball don't work out or some shit. Yeah. Like, I'm like, mm-hmm. Barbara might be something I could look forward to, but I still had that shit, like, side, on the side, because I was trying to hoop, you feel me? I was, yeah. only, I was only 14, 15, so I kept playing ball, and I was good at ball, like, Y'all don't forget because I picked up the clip was yeah. dealing, man. Bro, shit, I, no, I'll go vouch for that. I'll go for that. But real quick, I'm just thinking, um, and if you probably got younger kids listening, how important is it to, you know, chase your dreams of basketball, but try to acquire another skill or an, something else you could be good at too because, you know, there's only yeah. 300 people to make it to the league every uh, in the, every year. There's only 300 players that play in the league. No, for but, sure. So as far as yeah. having like a backup trade or skill or – yeah, definitely. And it's crazy because, like I said, I had it in 10th grade. I had my Clippers and all that in 10th mm-hmm. grade. But once I got to college, I redshirted. A lot of people don't know this. I was redshirted on the basketball team of college. Like, So once the uh, coach that came from IUP had came. and So you went to IUP? No, I went to Shippensburg. That's, oh, okay. oh, yeah, that's where all I went. Right. I went to Shippensburg. All right. And when I got up there, you know, I played sports in all the schools I ever went to coming up and all that. So I was trying to go for that in college, but, you know, like I said, I was red-shirted. The coach came with – the coach that was there when I was there got fired, and, you know, the new coach came with a bunch of players, and so they had to make a team out of everybody that had the film and the new players that was coming. So everybody that was red-shirted kind of got bumped off. off like So I had to try to find a way, like, how to be a student without sports, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, Because I yeah. never knew what that was. That's crazy. So, and I had my clippers, so it was like, and I, I was doing bad in college. Like, I almost got kicked out on academic probation and all that. But bad as in, like, grades or behavior. Grades-wise, grades-wise. Because, I mean, college is fun. Like, you should, like, you know, a little shit happen. Like, mm-hmm. but college is, is fun. Like, you feel me? I feel like everybody should try to give it a I chance. I never went to college. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. I never went to college. I, did, I, went, I went to uh, community. I dropped <laughs> out, though. Community, that's still yeah. the main. I'm telling you, though, college, just, like, being on a campus and you, you man, you create. That's that's when I left and I decided I went up there and that's when I had to do everything on my own for real. like that's where you know you like, away from everybody. You feel me? You every decision, everything you making, that's on you. It, mm-hmm. it, that was how it was at home too. But when you out the way mm-hmm. and you, you know what I'm saying, and ain't, ain't nobody right there with you and you 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 gotta do everything on your own. That's when you you got you gotta create your path and figure out what you wanna do. Yeah. Right. So you were fourteen when you when you decided like, dang, I wanna start cutting. 
How old were you when you started like taking it serious? Like, man, I'm about to really start making some money off of this. I'm good at it. I say I was about, I was in college, so it was probably like after my freshman year, because like I said, I tried to do the little basketball shit my freshman year. So my sophomore year, that's when I had to figure out what I wanted to do. Like if I wanted to come back home mm -hmm. or try to stay up school and figure out, you know what I mean, what's next. Right, right. So I, uh, it was, I was about probably like 20. 21, 20, 20, like 20, yeah. 19. So sick, but I was, man. but I was up there cutting every day. Once I, when I still was trying to play ball, I still was trying to cut though. Okay, but that's when I was getting my reps in for real, for like real. Pra like practice, getting yeah. better. Like, Not charging mm -hmm. probably anything. No, I would definitely charge them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We, started charging. Yeah, What'd you start I, off at? Well, when I first started cutting, I was my like I like I said in tenth grade, we had a shop. Like it was a shop inside the school, so we had yeah. to practice and stuff like that so they tell us not to charge but you know i'm a hustler you feel yeah, me? i'm yeah, trying for real. i'm you telling them living. five ten hours i'm telling them in the hallway don't tell a teacher like you yeah know, come through the side door <laughs> yeah. yeah no for real it get, it get hard in college yeah. too yeah, yeah it get hard in college man like, yeah that was in high school but then when i got to college i'm charging 30 40 yeah i was up there charging oh yeah you yeah bro <laughs> not going to class that's how i got on academic probation the money was getting crazy. Yeah. So I was like, I'm, I'm not hair. going to class. Like, yeah. hey, that's what we go to school. I ain't going to say we go to school to so we can get a good. Well, yeah, we go to school to get a good career to pay mm -hmm. a good amount of money. You yeah. Know what I mean? Make so, a living, yeah. Yeah, so I feel like, damn, I was making a little living. I ain't, but I had to I had to snap out of that and just try to, you mean, try to balance that shit, bro. Yeah, that's so, crazy. Sorry. Yeah. That shit was jumping in jumping, college. Bro. Yeah. Like, in college. Jumping, bro. Like, jumping, bro, because I wasn't, I was having parties and shit, like, Everybody can attest to that too. Yeah. Like 2012 to 2016, up ship, it was jumping up there. Like yeah. that was a good time up there. So Fridays, you getting packed. Everybody about to go to a party. They want to get the shit cut real through, quick. Monday through Sunday, bro. Like I had to figure out when to go to class because it'd be like, all right, <laughs> damn, Puff bro, I'm going to yeah. the class phone ringing. Like I'm like, yo, I just missed like, like dime bags. Oh, <laughs> it was crazy, mm -hmm. bro. And I, I was really up school, like. In school, you got to create your own fun, bro. Like, mm -hmm. that's, I created my own fun. I created it like I was at home, bro. So it felt like yeah. I was at home, bro. A lot of right. people up there probably got mommy and daddy money that are paying, giving them a check, and they're paying for their tuition. They're paying for their apartment yeah, or their, where they're staying. So yeah. you're fending for yourself. You got to do what you got to do. So you got to pay off. No, I like, definitely, I de them parent plus loans definitely was coming in. So, you know, my mom and them didn't be signed or something for like a loan. But, you know, we got to pay it back, though. That's just the stamp. So to get like in there, a, yeah, yeah, you feel me? But as far as like the renting or like taking care of, yeah, because I was up there. Food every day. Call, yeah, you yeah. Get fresh. That was, yeah. yeah, that was all me, you feel me? That yeah, was me yeah. always, though, you feel me? My mom and dad, they always, you mean, there when I need them and when I, you know I mean? Yeah. But as far as like all that at the early, yeah, I used to be working, bro. Like mm. playing ball. I was working at KFC. That was my only job I ever had, though. KFC? Yeah, mm. I was like 14. I was like 15, 16. How was that? I, I never yeah. worked. I never got a job. I never had a job on the books to where I got a paycheck for. I, never in my life. Yeah, that was my only time. But I, I ain't going to lie. I feel like I needed that to see, like, damn, this, that's not what I wanted to do. You yeah. Because yeah. I seen people getting treated crazy in there. They they, they yeah. old. They, like, my thing is, you feel me? Like, older people, we we going we show them respect whether they working or not. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. You get out of pocket. You could, there's a way you, you could, you could, way you, I mean, but... They was talking to them crazy in there, and they the, the manager younger than a worker, and the, they older, and they getting talk. I'm like, no, nah, ain't nobody doing that. You had man. to see that to see what you don't want. Yeah, right. yeah, and that was my last job. I quit. I threw everything on the table one day. I made my. I had a good day at the uh at the shop. I was trying to do both. Oh, you was doing both yeah, at the same time. Yeah, like coming oh, okay. home in the summertime, trying to do both. Yeah, and I'm like, man, I'm. So I was only what. 14, 15, 16, I'm making what? Seven, what that was the minimum wage at the time? Like seven, seven 15, twenty-five 20, or yeah, something like and that. I'm, I'm yeah. working seven hours, so that's what, that's not that much money for real. So I'm mm -hmm. making that off two cuts at the job. I'm like, I quit. Yeah. Had a yeah. little good run for like a week and went back up there. Like, yeah, like now I'm ordering everything on the job. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, so, so did you, did you finish college? Or yeah. You, you want to finish the college? So right at the college, you you decided like, yo, I'm about to get a shot. <laughs> yeah, yep. So yeah. I did. I finished. Uh, I graduated up Shippensburg, 2016. Okay. I got what my bachelor's in uh, sociology, and it's crazy because like I said, I was up there 
to play ball, so I never had a real focus on what I wanted to go to school for. I just know I wanted to hoop. Right. So, you know, when I got up there and my GPA fell under the 2.0, it was at like a 1.4 or something like that. And I had to pick my major at a certain time. So that was the only options I had once I boosted my GPA back up. Mm -hmm. I got it to like a 2.0, 2.1 or something like that. And that was, I had to pick. So I was forced to pick something like sociology, social work or something. So I just picked mm -hmm. sociology. I don't even use it. Like, I never even used my degree. I did it for my mom and, I mean, the people yeah. that wanted to see me, like, you know what I mean? Wanted to, to see you, that, you that bragging something. rights, you yeah. feel me? Yeah. Like, just just to have that to say, you feel me? Like, I just, and I I felt like I was almost there, so why not just do it, you feel me? So for, for college, outside of cutting hair and playing sports and the actual degree that you had, you put that three things aside. What did you learn from being just up in college in that atmosphere in that community around them people? What did it, what did you learn up there, like outside of what you were actually there for? Shit, that's where I learned networking, man. Networking, that shit like play a yeah. big role. You feel me? Like, yeah. cause it's like, no matter what, like anybody you come across, you you could learn from them. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't learn from people that I didn't think I could learn from. You feel me? Just. Being in certain rooms, certain open, conversations, you know what I'm saying? yeah, and just taking in everything, bro. And I, I kind of learned from experience too. That's another another answer to the question you asked me earlier. Like, as far as being like in the hood, and I learned from experience. You got so many examples around, like just like you know, you got you got people that you you know you that you know and shit like that, and people that you see all the time. You just gotta learn from your surroundings, bro. Like sometimes mm -hmm. you don't gotta go through shit to get through shit. Mm. Like yeah. you, you, you learn from see, my mistakes rather yeah. than learn from your own mistakes. And it ain't even like, all right, I'm just taking away the negative that bros don't. No, at the end of the day, we all learn. We all take something from each other. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah. It's just about how you look at it. Like you don't gotta look at it like, damn, I'm. I don't know. It's all about the mindset, bro. That shit is a big play, a big part, bro. Yeah, you know where we come from, bro. It's like a lot of times we gotta st uh, touch the stove to see if it's hot ourselves. No, for you sure. know what I'm saying? And for that sure. was that was my biggest problem. Like, no matter what somebody told me, like, I still had to touch the stove and, like, I want to see for myself if no it's facts. hot or not. You feel me? No facts. I'm a prime yeah. example, too, because I ain't perfect. You feel me? But I didn't, you mean, you mean touch the fire and then, oh, shit. Like, we all, yeah. and like I said, we all go through that. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We all go through that sometimes. You feel me? But it's like, like I said, that that, that mindset, bro, that shit, once you, once you, you know what I mean, lock in and understand, like, it's, it's, a, it's bigger, it's bigger shit, bro. Like, yeah. I, I had to really see that shit, bro. Like it's just, it's like a lot of, it's just so much, bro. Just, just for me cutting and seeing, bro. Like I, yeah. I be, I be like, damn, like. Like you yeah. said though that you, when, ever when you went to school, everything's in walking distance. Everything's close to you, and then you go to the school where you were on campus, right? Yeah, I was and on then campus. It's like a culture shock, shock, right? Yeah, for sure. Like just being up there, like you, you see farms and shit. Like <laughs> I ain't like. All this yeah. land, you see yeah. cows and shit. It's walking like, the bro, street. went like, to prison, ain't it though? Yeah, yeah, like like you got up, removed. Like we went I was up there at Camp Hill, basically. I'm up in there, there. That's yeah. where Shippensburg at. Like kind of up near the yeah. jails up there. Like you mean like? I you're was, talking about cutting hair. You're talking about farms and that's land. That's crazy. I was in Camp Hill bro, around shit. that time too, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bro. And I, I was off campus after like the fresh freshman year. I was lit after that. I went off campus. I said I can't be up there with the kid. Oh yeah, I was too grown. <laughs> you were coming I back to the grown. city and going yeah. back and forth, or you just got a spot up yeah, there. Yeah, I was going. I was coming back home because, like I said, Shippensburg like hour and a half, two hours. So yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, ain't yeah. that far. I was, but it's it's far enough to be like Brian. I ain't got to keep going home though. Every day, you know? though. Yeah, yeah. So I I try to go somewhere <laughs> where like I can still get home, but I I can kind of focus and stay up here, and yeah. just you know what I mean I I I really. I came home to make my money, and then if it wasn't no money home, and I knew I had more money to stay up school, I'm I was where the money was yeah. at, bro. That's yeah. how I, I stayed where the money was at. So bro. you fin you finished college when? Uh, 2016. Uh, yep, 2016 and December. When you graduated, you got your diploma, and then you said, "I'm just I just want to cut hair." Now. It's crazy though. It's crazy because they try to get me. I had walk. They they do this shit like they had you walk. Like mm -hmm. you, they they give you the date that you graduated, or whatever. But you don't, you don't, you ain't you ain't get your grades yet, so you don't know what the official drawing is. Yeah. They let you walk, oh, cap and yeah. gown and all that. Yeah. But you gotta wait for your grades like a couple yeah. weeks after that to really get that paper to stamp. You it, got you a green me? sheet with yeah. no parole. Basically, <laughs> they they had me walk. I'm hype as shit. Everybody come up there and all that, and I get my fucking grades <laughs> like mm -hmm. a couple weeks later, and I fell to class like. 
you need 124 uh, credits to graduate. I had 123. So uh, you feel me? Like yeah. I had to, basically I had to go to community. They try to stop you and be like, all right, well, after you walk, you, they think like that's the all in all. You feel me? Like he, he ain't going to go back. You feel me? Yeah. He ain't going to go get that paper. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So I just had to go to community for like to and take that, that credit. one credit. How Crazy. long did you have to go to, to get that credit? I had to I had to go for like one semester. I had to take a, a piano class. Like, Man. yeah, that was some weird shit. But I I, I know I played the piano though. That's <laughs> another addition to what I could do. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, I went in there and kept it real. I told the professor like, listen, I don't go here or nothing. Like, I just need one credit to graduate. I go blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. I'ma try. You feel me? Get in and get out. Music. I kept yeah. it being that shit paid. I tried to do it. And he mm -hmm. gave me he gave me a D. I passed. <laughs> yeah, no, I got that one credit. And then you For got real. that credit. Now you officially graduated. Yeah, you got then your diploma. They sent me out the paper. Like, so I had walked December 2016, but they sent the paper out like that summer. Cause I had to wait until that semester was over. So 2017. Yeah. And then you're already locked in your head that you want to be a barber. It's yeah, already that like was, it's a wrap now. Like I got this out the way. I had to do it for my family or just for you know. So I didn't waste the money, but now I want to pursue my career in cutting hair full time. Yeah, for sure. So I how's already, that? How's that stage of your life look? It looked good. It's crazy because <laughs> I ain't think it was going to look like this. Like I thought it was just going to be me cutting at a sh at a shop or behind the chair. It really mm -hmm. was behind the chair. I didn't even think I was going to get a shop. Uh, with my uh my brother, shout out to Nell and shout out to Jess. We uh had got a, sh a shop uh like right when I graduated. Like mm -hmm. as soon as I graduated, we got a shop. And you know, from the shop to now, I'm in a private studio and traveling and cutting celebrities like a listers. Yeah, all yeah we're, type. Gonna, we're like, gonna get into that. Yeah, yeah. So I ain't think it was gonna get like when you first started. Like you're just trying to fill your schedule up for the week. Do you have steady customers already? Do you have to like? Yeah. Are you more expensive now that you're growing and you, you can't still cut the hair at the same price? Like, what was your troubles of, of actually growing? Well, it was, it was, I had to sit a lot, but I had a lot of time on my end. I ain't had too much overhead. I ain't have like real bills at the time. So I was kind of like, I mean, I was, I was able to sit and not make no couple dollars with the barbering for a minute and it wouldn't have hurt me, you feel yeah, me? But no I was pressure. still there. It wasn't too much. It was just yeah. had to be there. I had to sacrifice doing other shit, bro. No kids I, at the time? No either. kids at the time when I first you mean, started yeah. getting clients. I was just locked in, bro. Like it wasn't, like it was, you, I had a choice, bro. It's all about your choice and what you want to do, bro. And that was right, my man. choice, you feel me? And that, and once I was cutting hair and I seen there was money in it, that's you're gonna need cuts for the rest of your life type shit. So yeah. like, mm -hmm. I seen that early and I had to attack it, bro. Like, and from there, it just yeah, bro. Just well, you like, gotta think about it. Like, everyone needs a haircut, right? Eventually, yeah. you're gonna need a haircut at some point. I mean, some people grow their hair long, yeah. far and few in between, but everyone's gonna need a haircut at some point, and it's like sure. a revolving door. So it's a business. Like, I remember even dur during COVID, I was calling my barber like, I still need to get in here, bro. I know they shut shit down, but I need to get, can I come to the crib? What? No, but for I was real. Cutting, I was cutting COVID on with a, where I was risking it, bro. But I was. They, <laughs> with a mask they, on coming with price, a mask? That price, yeah. I go up that, John. Yeah, it was, it was worth it. But it's like, man, that's that was my gamble right there. You got to take mm -hmm. it. Yeah, that was my gamble, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like yeah. everybody got gambles, you feel me? You got to take that gamble, but that was my gamble. All right, so we know, like, basically, in the city, you you considered a celebrity barber. I mean, you popping in the city. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm that. So, I'm the one. You absolutely. Feel me? Like, I ain't going to hold Better you Better go follow him. Yeah. Been, no, yeah, wind the barber on everything. But, yeah, I'm the one. I ain't going to lie. I've been, I've been playing the backfields and, like, mm -hmm. Being humble, I'm still humble, but I'm at the point right now I could pop it a little bit. Yeah, yeah for sure. real. I, I could pop it a lot, but I just, you know, I just like to keep bro, it Bro, you cool. one of the best, if not the best barbers in, in, in the city. You feel me? Oh, for sure, bro. So, so when you feel like, like, when you start acknowledging that, like, dang, like, I'm a I'm celebrity barber, like, I'm really... You mean? Well, before I before I put the celebrity barber in front, I was just feeling like I was that barber. You feel me? Like yeah, I feel like everybody should yeah. come to me before. You feel I like started you were the cutting. sharpest, no matter who I cut. It don't yeah. matter who I'm cut. I'm and sharp. I, I'm sharp regardless. You could put whoever in front of me. No, for sure. And I had the proper like the proper guy. And Jermaine, shout out to my boy Dink the barber too. His name Bionic Barber on the gram. Yeah, that mm -hmm. was like one of the. Bar, older barbers that I gravitated to. You feel me? And he gravitated mm -hmm. to me. Like he was one of them old heads that wasn't like trying to not give game. Like he seen me doing me and you know what I mean, then that's, mm -hmm. I went to go get a haircut from him and that's how we locked in. 
Yeah. And, that, mm-hmm. and he, I didn't work. I work. I work with Big Bro and all that. Like he didn't show me the business. Took me to the hair shows when I ain't know nothing about it. Like he. Yeah. He had me around it. He, and he was the first celebrity barber that I've been around and seen. He was cutting mm-hmm. the twins. He was cutting, cutting everybody. And he used to cut down the hood too. Who, who, um, who's the twins? Uh, the Morris twins. Okay. Yeah, the right. Morris twins. You got Malik Wayne's and these yeah. when these guys was like you know really in their prime like yeah. Kansas and you know the Malik Wayne's McDonald's all America. Like yeah. you feel me? Like it was like at real time. Like so. I seen like he was I was seeing it with him. I was a kid, like, and I just kept up with him and like kept going there every day. Like yeah. catching a bus all the way from north all the way uptown, you feel me? Yeah. Like yeah. So how old are you right now? I'm thirty. I just turned thirty, 30 in October. For real. Yeah, 30. bro. So 30, at thirty, bro. when did you feel like you was him at a bar? Like I don't matter, like I don't gotta cut any athletes or celebrities, but I know I'm sharp at this. Like I know this is my gift. I know you could <laughs> you could put me next to any barber. I'm what at what age was that? All right, so I was I felt like that when I like up college when yeah. I was when I was missing class. I'm You're that, supposed I'm to. That, you feel me? But like when I actually really like damn like I I really like I like the last couple years like I say like the last three four years. But I I've been cutting celebrities longer than this. But you feel me? That was like mm-hmm. my beginning. Like. It was like, who was your lot. first? Sorry to cut off. Who was your first so, so actual celebrity you cut when you were like, damn, this is a famous motherfucker right here? Or, well, I, my man Will Parks, but we grew up together, so I ain't look like I, I looked at it different because that's my man for real. So yeah, like, like we a peer, grew up like and he peer. made it. Like he played football all our life and he made it. You feel me? Yeah. So that was the first I say, but like if. For people that don't know that that that'd be the first person that yeah I could say you feel me when you felt like it though like this is a um no, it yeah. don't it don't even have to I, be yeah, celebrity I don't, somebody that was popping too because it could have been Leaf too right yeah yeah you think that, Leaf was before Will uh on a cutting who was first I don't know because they like I said I grew up with both of them so they both yeah. was in, like I don't know who I cut first for real because they both was there you feel me yeah so it's like. But as far as and like with that, like I did, like bro, like I just that like that's close knit. So it's like yeah. you can't even really, count that. Yeah, it's so like but, but everybody else other, would count it though. Yeah. So but as far as like celebrity though, I say it'd probably been like a, a, a NFL player. I say probably because who I cut after because I because it was like players that was tough that people knew in college that never got the chance and what's the name? But I say like. Damn, because I don't want to say the wrong person. Cause it's definitely because <laughs> I've been cutting celebrities for the longest, but yeah. but it's been popping these last couple years though. I ain't yeah. gonna hold you. Like shit was jumping when I was cutting the celebrities back then. What got you in the butt. door though of cutting these like getting around and networking with my, these celebrities? My man, Will Parks. You feel me? He said, "Yo, my man, cut me." You got college. Like, like I was cutting him in college. He was he made it to the league, so you know he had that spotlight. Bro, got that spotlight. He had camps in the city, so he had mm-hmm. people coming that was up and coming. So. It been like bro was the lead runner, and then once bro was getting his cuts in college and high school and all that, everybody that was big from the city or that he played with in the league, they see him cutting. Bro then sent me to different organizations. I didn't cut the Jets t- whole team because bro then plugged me in and mm. like your hands hurt. And so then, he played for the Jets too. Yeah, he was playing okay. for the Jets. He played for the Eagles. You feel me? Um, and then you know I, I had cut. My, home, my 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 man Sharif Miller, he had got drafted and he had plugged me in with Miles Sanders. Okay, yeah. and then mm-hmm. went from Miles Sanders. It was it, like I said, it was way before this, but this like the stuff that I could remember that kind of was like, damn, like that's crazy. Like yeah, and, now you're uh, traveling too. Like you have to go to these people's houses or to their uh, stadiums and go there and cut. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Dre Swift too. That's another person that you know. Because I seen your Instagram, you got me in. Jalen Carter, you got Lane Johnson, like it's you really him right now. Yeah, bro, and it and it all started with, you know, Dre Swift. He he had got uh, traded here, yeah, deal. and you know him being there and my homie, shout out to Quan, um, Quan Cook, you feel me? Beyond blessed, Cloven Line. He um, you know they they cl- they close friends, you feel me? And he he brought me in on that relationship, you feel me? And we connected. Mm-hmm. Networking, like yeah, you said, bro. bro. Go back to networking. Yeah, and bro been thorough, and it's crazy because, like, even me to this day, I never, like, forced nobody or told nobody, bro, uh, mm-hmm. everybody do this on a genuine tip because, you mean, I'm, yeah. I'm genuine, you feel me? I'm yeah. coming. You feel me? It's different. Like, I ain't, 
It ain't like, all right, I'm just a barber. Like, you ain't I know chasing, these people. You it's coming me? to you. Yeah. You ain't chasing yeah. these people. These and people you're not are... a shitty barber. Yeah, bro. <laughs> For real. Yeah, so bro. it was like, that. I mean, that's enough said right there. But bro had me come to the facility. That's how I changed. That's what changed the whole joint. You feel me? So you yeah. have your whole travel kit. You like, ready? Like, you're on wheels with a whole travel yeah. kit coming out there. Bro had me come cut at the training facility. I remember like it was yesterday. He like, yo, bro, you come cut me. I'm thinking I'm going to the crib to cut. He like, no, I'll come to the practice. You man, practice joint. I go in there. Everybody walking past, bro. I'm like, I'm, I just was playing like Madden with you, dude. You know what I mean? Like, shit yeah. crazy, bro. Like, yeah. So who called you there? Dre Swift or what? Yeah, Dre Swift. He had okay. called me there to come shape him up there, you feel me? And uh-huh. when I got in there, it's like, I mean, when I first, the first couple times I went, I was chilling for real. Like, I just cut, bro, and, and left. But I'm like, man, I'm in this building for a reason, you yeah, feel me? Like, yeah. I ain't about to just keep just cutting and leaving. Let me yeah. stick around and network, you feel me? And mm-hmm. from there, I just jumped in my bag and... Bro, like, yeah, bro, like, I got you here so you can, I mean, do network. You, do you exchange Instagrams? Do you have business cards you hand out? I got to get my business cards. That's what I'm lagging on, but. We about to get you some business cards, Yeah, we, but we, I ain't, we, we going to get you some. You. I ain't going to lie. I'm my business card, bro. Yeah. I, I sell this shit like it's like, you yeah, feel me? They like, see I, it. Yeah. Word that, of mouth, though, too, bro. Word of mouth. That's, that's the main thing. Word of mouth. Your a, lot of, a lot of the players was getting cuts before meetings. They be having meetings, like, at night. So they'll get a fresh cut from me at, like, 6 o'clock. Yeah. They go in there with the white line and all. They yeah. come from the meet. Yeah. They like, bro, such and such said he want to get a cut. Like, could you pull up? Yeah. It get real, bro. Like, I, it get yeah. real, bro. My phone be like, people will call me, bro. It be like. And you got to, like, like, if somebody, like, like a celebrity or someone from the NFL or an athlete call you and it's like, they need you, right? Like, damn, I got this thing. I got to Let me hit him up. You feel like you got to drop your bags and make it happen, right? Like. Damn, I gotta go pull through. I mean, yeah, as long as it's, it makes sense, you feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't the boy that's just gonna get up and go if it don't make sense, you feel me? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I mean, so it gotta make sense. Like, if I ain't if if I ain't with the fam and we locked in doing something, I ain't just gonna drop that, you feel me? I'm yeah. A, we gonna arrange some shit. Like, we yeah. ain't like I mean, but if it's if the, if it's talking a certain number and we talking like you really need this, I'm gonna make it happen though. Yeah. Like. Money if talk. Any, like if you need, a, if you going on a flight or some emergency, you gotta go somewhere real quick, and you need. I mean, I understand how shit can just come up, so I'm gonna yeah. try to accommodate you. But yeah. for the most part, it gotta make sense, though. I mean, no doubt. Yeah, that makes so. sense, man. Real right. But yeah, who you who you feel like was was like the 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 um, basically the most the one who put you on the most, like as far as networking outside of people like you already knew, like Will and. Or after you developed a relationship with Dre Swift, like who you felt like was like, like Daryl too that that threw the oop for you, that wasn't from the city or around the city. That's a celebrity. Yeah. Uh, shit, Miles, 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 Miles Sanders. You feel me? But like I said, Miles was at the Eagles for a, for a nice little minute first. So we built a joint for like four four years, three four years. So I mean, bro was bro was thorough. Um. I ain't gonna lie, they always thorough, bro. Cause like, real recognized, real, bro. I ain't never come yeah. in there on no like Joe shit. other shit or like some shit they could see. Like, oh no, cuz on some other. Yeah, right, right, right. Cause always, that ain't true. Yeah, it was yeah. always authentic for real, bro. So it was like, I mean, they see I'm grinding. I ain't never had to tell them, listen, bro. I need this. I'm doing this. Or could you do this or this, that, and the third? I just always kept it regular, like. I mean, you call me, I'm gonna come do my service. And I mean, our time there, we're gonna be thorough, you mean, and yeah. whatever. And they see that and they and it just it, it piggyback off her. like everybody just kind of been thorough, bro. I don't feel like nobody like didn't do no thorough shit, but I feel like some people could probably push a little more, but I can't who am I to say that, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. You're so still gonna the work there's still work for you to do regardless if they do yeah, if they all, help you out or not. You still yeah, have work all, you gotta do. Yeah, it's always work to do, bro. I feel like you I mean when you so stop as far as barber goes, like if we're talking about that specific skill. What do you do to, to stay sharp, like, as far as, like, updating equipment or looking at new techniques or new products? Maybe it's uh, some stuff for hair that you're giving to your, your, your customers when they leave. Like, what are you doing to stay relevant in the barber uh, world? Well, you know, I got a, a barber, uh, I mean, a bear and a hair growth butter that I got. I was going to bring it up here today and promote it, but mm. that's... Shout it out. What's the name me? of it? It's, I, I'm still trying to figure all that shit out, bro. That's another thing I got to get better with, content okay. and just... Expanding more on the business of barbering, you feel me? Yeah. Like right, right, right. Like I mean, I'm, I got brushes, combs, do rags, everything. Going to be coming in soon with my uh, logo on it. I'm just getting the logo together, 
Like I'm still late on shit that I should have been on. That's like if but imagine you, that. But you were on other shit that other people ain't on yeah, too, they, though. No, so. Yeah, facts. <laughs> so I was I was doing it a little different. Like I was trying to get the bulk of the, the hard shit out of the way first. And now mm-hmm. all this shit, I ain't gonna say it's easy, but this just about just doing it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like just getting it done, putting the money to this, investing. Because there's some there's some people barbers out there that got the logo and their own products and all, but they ain't doing what you're doing as far as who you cutting and where you're going and the position you're in. Mm-hmm. No, so, for sure. It's still work to be done, of course, but... No, for sure. And I say that, though, because it's like everybody ain't go to pay if I went as far as going up school to cut. Because now, <laughs> say if I didn't go to school, take take college away from the whole shit, bro. Because I feel like that kind of helped me with my barber shit. Because like I said, if, how young I was cutting, and I was mm-hmm. serious about that shit, bro. So if I was at home, nobody was really going to give me that chance to cut them because they ain't like, yeah. damn, bro, you went from bald to a barber. You ain't really, like, yeah. you feel me? It's different, bro. You going to treat really me. Was, yeah, yeah, you feel me? So I, I had, shout out to my man, Karan. Like, I used that's yeah. who I used to cut. Like, yeah. every day, that's my man, my right-hand man, you feel me? That's that's who I used to cut, you feel me? Like, anytime mm-hmm. I wanted to practice or try to cut coming from school and I was down the way, that's who I cut. Like, and, mm-hmm. and, and you know what I mean? And, me cutting bro all the time or cutting everybody that I knew once they see me cutting him and it was mm-hmm. getting better. Mm-hmm. That shit just just played a part, bro. So where you where you at right now? I'm like I'm pretty sure you way further than what you expected five years ago. Where do you see yourself at in the next five years? Damn, and it's crazy. I, I before I came up, I, I, that was a question I asked myself because I thought yeah. that was gonna be asked. You feel me? But. Mm-hmm. In five years, it's crazy because it was hard for me to answer that question because I ain't going to lie. For me getting here, I never really wrote down too many goals and shit. Like, I okay. sp- I feel like I speak shit to existence. So I know, like, all right, if I speak on something, I just always push forward towards every day. But now I'm getting in the habit of trying to write shit down and trying to and just eclipsing it, whether it's small shit mm-hmm. or whether it's, like, just down to the time. And like I was telling you, like, just... Mm-hmm. Being more on time, time management, but like uh, the products, five years, like five years yeah. Like I, I would want to see my products like worldwide. You feel me? Like because yeah. it really worked. Like and I got a lot of reviews on it, a lot of good reviews that I don't ask people to give me. Like I yeah. sell it to them. I, you know what I mean, they tell me it's all organic products and it's all organic ingredients in it. What do it strengthen it or what? Yeah, strengthen it. It, it makes it grow. It keeps it moisturized. Or make it grow. Yeah, I need yeah. some. Yeah. No, I got y'all. I but, need you know, some. I get the reviews. We people be telling some. them. Like I know people that got the you know what I mean the little spots and they put it in the air and yeah. be growing back. Like and I cut them so I see the results. Yeah. yeah. So it's like. I just gotta start getting better with posting this stuff. Like I, yeah. I get I ain't gonna say comfortable because I'm always working for real. So it's like yeah, that yeah. time that people don't see me posting, I'm working for real. Yeah. Like so it's like I just gotta find that time where I gotta get a team together to help me do certain shit that I know I can't do because I'm behind the chair and shit like that. So that's yeah. what I'm trying to get together. I want to talk to you about being behind the chair real quick because I'm a painter. Well, I have a painting company and I started off with the paintbrush in my hand. I have 20 employees that work for me now. You know, not all of them are painters. Some of them help in the office. But as of me, me being a painter and being a person who puts paint on the wall, I can only charge so much. Right. But if I got a painter over here, a painter over here, paint, now I'm starting to collect from different angles. Exactly. Right. So I didn't want to be the best painter anymore. I wanted to be the best owner of a painting company. Exactly. So is that something you want to transition to where you can still be the sharpest, nicest barber, but do you also want to like have people underneath of you and other opportunities to help other younger people and still make money in, in different like areas? No, yeah, for sure. Cause like I got I got stuff I got shit that I got going on for the youth that as far as like trying to have classes for kids that's like, you know, that trying to get them to get started like how early I got started. You yeah. Know I mean? Cause that's that's important because there's a lot of kids that don't play sports. Luckily, I was playing sports and trying to do that. But if I wasn't playing sports, I would have been doing that right. aggressively. You yeah. feel me? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it's yeah. like I be having little one-on-one classes. I be promoting it sometimes, but I feel like, I don't know, like a lot of people will see it. They don't really, like like I said, bro, it'd be like if it's negative, you're going to get the views for it. But when yeah. you're trying to do something positive, a lot of times it's like, it don't get that same effect. It's overshadowed but, by all the negative going on. Yeah. yeah. And I, I and I try to co- consistently post it and put it out there. But yeah, I'm, I offer like classes for the kids. And like I said, like it ain't no about a dollar with me. Of course I'm gonna want to get paid for something that I, but it's like, 
I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm doing it for like certain kids. If I know that you're serious, I don't even want a dollar from you because I see mm-hmm. that you're serious. But yeah. If I feel like it's my playing around and they just trying to like waste your spill time, spill the sauce and all that, yeah, you might got. Yeah. It. But as, as far as the youth, I got the youth though. What would all. you? What would advice would you give like a younger kid that's thinking about like there ain't no money in that or that's too hard to learn? I'm not good with my hands. Yeah. What would you? What advice would you give the youth that are trying to pursue that that uh, path that you took? Shit, uh, the advice if you do take this path, I say you got is about being consistent and just and, and you got to motivate yourself because you I mean at that time when you first start and you got people saying, bro, you your jaw ain't sharp, your shit ain't sharp. You got people that are tell you something negative about what you're doing because mm. you ain't got it all the way and that could bring you down. So you gotta stay motivated mm. and you just gotta stay consistent. I don't know if I said that already, but consistent. And you gotta, you gotta, like I said, you gotta pick and you gotta choose. Like you gotta sit, you gotta go through the, the bad to get to the good. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Like it ain't just going jump there. You feel me? Keep, so. keep showing up, keep trying to get better. Showing up and every don't listen day. to the outside noise. That's what don't. I don't. Gotta, you gotta lock in. It's just like everything else, bro. I, I treat this bar- barbering is just like everything else, bro. Yeah. yeah. Everything like I know whether you want whether it's. it's the, the drug, whatever. it's like it's like everything. You feel me? Yeah. And like it's just, just it's, a, it's a good thing, bro. And I, I feel like that was a good decision. And Change that's your I, life, yeah, bro. Change your family's life, probably. Yeah, bro. And it's like, it's it's crazy. Like getting I, these calls from these yeah, celebrities. I was telling, I, ta- I was talking to Lil, and I was like, you know, there might be a a better ball player than Jordan out there that didn't get the recognition that Jordan got, didn't get the opportunity that Jordan yeah, got. Facts. Like what Jada Kiss said, right? Facts. Yeah. Like. So if there's a there might be a better barber out there than you, right? Facts. But he don't got the recognition. He don't get paid what you get paid. He don't cut the people that you cut. Right. What separates you from that good barber? Like, not saying you're not a good barber. No, no, I, I, no, for sure. Because listen, I'm I'm a, I see it firsthand. Like, I see a lot of barbers that got way more followers than me because they market better than me. They content better mm-hmm. than mine. Like, but, they but might the not be work is than yeah, you. like. Like they know that too though, because yeah. a lot of them follow. They follow me. They know who I am. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm a big dog, but I'm just still yeah. mm-hmm. like I ain't get the reach there on the social media because I'm really not a social media boy. I'm just I'm I'm on, I'm doing that because I gotta do it because I got my my business and shit like that. Yeah. But I just gotta learn how to be on it more. Some like, people are content creators first and barber second. Yeah. Wait, as you're a barber, I'm a barber for, first. Like yeah. so, it's mm-hmm. like it's it's different, bro. But they content be better. Like and they they. They attack the content more than I do, and they they do it better, bro. It's like my I'm, my marketing is trash. My content is you feel well, me? Your work but speed. My work is golden though. Yeah. But yeah. I got it. I gotta fix that. You feel me? Yeah, if you I gotta jump get, on that one. You feel me? No, that's what yeah. I'm on, bro. That's what I'm on for sure. I just got. I mean, just day by day, bro. And I and I learn from. I I see what I need to do. It ain't like I be blind to it. You feel yeah. me? Like I could yeah. be in this moment and be like. And just be going crazy, you feel me? Like, yeah, I'm that boy and all that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's still a lot of work. Like, I this. feel like that make you different and separate you as well by you, like, realizing, like, what you might be, like, slow on. Not, I don't want to say slow on like that, no, but sure. what you're not jumping on top of, no, like, your sure. marketing, you feel me? Sure. So I feel like that separates you a lot too, man. No, for sure, bro. For and real. that should play a big part, bro. Like, that focus, you got to stay focused, man. Like, that's... yeah. Staying so focused. imagine when your marketing does get there with what you what already I'm, got, the network you already it's got. Over. And in, five, in five years, I'm through the roof. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. Not it's even in five years. Like if I could, like a year or six months can change a lot. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. if I could really lock in and get every, because I do a lot. I don't post a lot though. Yeah. Like I be around a lot of stuff that I should be posting, but I be in the moment and I'd be like, damn, I, I forget when that. I get, yeah, it'd be like, damn. Or I be in them rooms with certain people, but. Like I said, bro, the, if everything I do would be just genuine, bro. I don't be trying to get in them rooms with them people. Too just extra. To be, yeah. yeah. Don't be too extra. You yeah, wanna, you bro, wanna, I'm always. Being yourself got you here. That's what one thing you talked about from the beginning of this conversation. It's cool mm. to be yourself. Yeah, So bro. you kind of, I understand you don't want to act outside of character just yeah. to get money or likes or views. Mm-hmm. So and it's I, tough, man. And I'm never overcharging. Like a lot of people, this is another thing, like... Everybody be like, got that mm-hmm. stigma on me. Oh, damn, he charged too much, bro. I mean, hit me up, bro. There's a difference from what somebody else telling you. You feel me? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like, you man, just DM me if you really want to get a cut. Don't let somebody tell you, damn, he charged such and such, or he cutting these people. He yeah. charged it. No, come on, bro. I, I, I make it work for everybody, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm a hustler at the end of the day. Right. And this is me doing a service, bro. Like, 
I mean, I know I know everybody ain't got the price that I originally might charge, but we mm-hmm. can work something out though, because yeah. everybody mm-hmm. do everything what they want with their money. So my price, I feel like ain't enough, but I charge it because I feel like you know what I'm saying you it's try reasonable. To stay fair for, and yeah, help people out. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, I, I seen you know we follow each other on a gram or whatever. I seen you just came from Texas, um, Dallas, Texas. Like, how was that experience and? Like what was that trip about? If you don't mind me asking. Shit, that was a good a good experience. Well, you mean that the the trip that I just came from from out Dallas? That was the second time I've been out there in a month in the same month. Cause the first time I got called out there. How you getting out there? You flying? Yeah, they they paying for my they flight. Pay for your yeah, flight? yeah, yeah flights there and back. The players, well, you know, I had to go out there. I got to cut Swift. You uh-huh. know, Dre Swift. Um, you know, a bunch of the players that was out there. You know, working like out. Like a handful stuff of like people, that. not just one person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like. You feel me, bro? They lined throwing up. up like a barber coming, yo. <laughs> yeah, bro lined up a couple players and all that, and then he lined them up. But then he see me going to go other places. He like, damn, yeah, bro, I'm out here working. You feel uh-huh, me? Like no I doubt. ain't just, you mean no well, y'all can have it set for me, but I'ma still go get it too. You feel mm-hmm. me? So you mean I I get there, shit, get the call, Michael Parsons, like, yo, where you at? Like he straight come pick me up himself personally, like, yeah, you feel me? Like that's. Mm-hmm. Certain shit like that, like I like he a star for real. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, Dre yeah. Swift is a star. Like yeah. you feel me? Like these guys, Will Parks, all these guys, these these. I mean, it makes sense. All star barber, all star players. Yeah, it's for just, real, you bro. know yeah, what I mean? Bro. The bro. Real rap. Right. For I real. Walked into Leonard for that. Going up, being as soon as I got there at the training facility, walked into who else? Jamar Chase. Just a bunch of people that like you. You feel me? Like I. I, I was I be getting that f- like damn like I'm really like yeah. right here like yeah. this like, they're they're them in the football world and you're you in, in the barber, in the barber world, world. Yeah, it's crazy. Bro. real bro real rap bro For real I know sometimes it don't seem like you 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 that bro but you you nah, there bro you nah, feel bro, me rap, but I appreciate we that, all bro. do it though you mean we know what we lack at and we beat ourselves up. Yeah. A lot of times, cause we know where we want to be. No, for you sure. feel me? But at the end of the day, bro, you should compare yourself to where you were, not to where you want to be, cause yeah. then you're gonna see the growth. And it's crazy, cause bro. that's what I'm saying. Like everybody seen the growth, bro. Cause literally, mm-hmm. I was the only barber of college, so everybody seen it, bro. I was cutting professors, bro. I was like, I was up there really doing my <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, you was cutting so. professors too, <laughs> yeah, bro. bro. Like your own professors, yeah, or bro. yeah. I had cut a couple people that was like, you know, that was a part of the uh, school joint that that was getting cuts so or like. That was like part of like the programs and stuff like that. Like I was cutting everybody, bro. Like it was it was crazy. That's why I was missing class. Like it was <laughs> yeah. getting real. Yeah. And there was another barber up there too. Uh my man Pat. Like, shout out to Pat. Like I, I, I came up there as a freshman trying, like, I was posting everything, like, bro was bro was the barber up there, but then I think he he was an upperclassman, so he ended up leaving like that semester after. But Okay. And you took you took over. Yeah, I was up there. I, t- I was I, I had I had it jumping when he was there. It's crazy mm. because I just met you today. Lil always talks about you. It's my it, guy, yeah. my boy. And to know that, like right. we're from the same city, you know, you and Lil from the same place. I'm proud of you. I don't even know you like that, bro. For I, real. I, I to make it out of this, like, and and do what you're doing, and it's only up from here. Like, no, you I, already up, and it's still only up. So no, I can bro. imagine, man. And it's crazy. I don't feel bro. like I'm appreciated, no. bro. Like this, like I said, every day is is new, is new, is new shit to be done. You feel me? Like, so I always feel like it's new levels. Like, man, low going live. This definitely not the only level. Like I appreciate it too, though, bro. Like this is it's so much more. Like now I'm getting into the people that I actually want to cut. Like it ain't like I ain't saying these everybody that I cut is not people I didn't want to cut. I didn't know I was gonna cut everybody that I be cutting them. But now it's like damn, now that I'm in these big rooms and shit like that, I'd be like all right, like is it like I want to turn people down? Do you have to turn people down, or you try to cut every head? I mean, I I, I can't cut everybody, so I, I ain't gonna say I turn them down. I try to figure out if we can do another day, but if it don't work, then it just. Yeah. Work, you feel me? Yeah. Like I, I'm only one person. I could try to do everybody. Some days it's better than others. Some days I don't feel like cutting. Do you have that. your own barber shop where it's there's other barbers there? Like if they step walk into the shop, I know you can't cut me. Can you give well, me somebody that's good though that's gonna take care of me? You have that though? Yeah, cause the barber shop me and my brothers had we had we um was working in there and it I wasn't really too big on having new barbers coming anyway. You feel me? Cause mm-hmm. I just know how it should be. And some people don't know how to be held accountable, so that's your from, name on it if you recommend them. Yeah, so I 
so now it's like I had I had my man in there. We was cutting together, and then we had a bunch of girls working. We had stylists, like you mean, like Doing braids, all like, that yeah, stuff. like we had a couple new barbers that came up, that came in and was you know worked with us for a little bit. We tried the barber thing, but you know that shit is hard to keep a team. That's why we do private studios now. You feel me? And it's with mm. it's with my my brother, and we got a stylist that working there. You feel me? So we all still everybody that was working in the barbershop, we all still together, but everybody got their own room. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. And it's that's a tough. family. It's like, yeah, like so a, it's like just people rotating, coming in and out. Yeah, and we on the same block. We had the barbershop, so we only like four buildings down. You feel me? So yeah. we had to go too far. We had to relocate too much and shit like that. But yeah, yeah that's tough, bro. That's tough. Bro. All right. Any other thing you got, Lil? No, man. You know, I, I, I'm I'm happy for my guy, man. Like we we basically grew up together, man. We. Both from Strawberry Mansion section to, to see where he at right now, it's crazy, bro. Like, it's inspiring. Oh, it's definitely it inspiring. Like the beat, nah, baby, he basically beat the odds. Nah, bro. Whereas right. like he did beat the odds. Yeah, like ninety percent of us where we from, bro. You know, we we get caught up. Nah, bro, we can't get away bro. from that magnet that keep us. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro, On the right. block, bro. I think like nah, his. Facts. He was so focused, uh, focused and lasered in on what he wanted. Like it didn't even matter what was coming his way. It, like, was, it was destined for him. Yeah, it was that first. Was. That I was fifteen, making a couple dollars. Like I ain't, you feel me? I was like, damn, this is what it is. Like I was still tough at ball, but it was like that shit ain't gonna pay for. But people don't think you can make money cutting hair. No, I ain't gonna lie. That <laughs> shit, this that shit, like. Yeah, I'm gonna just say yeah. It's just like it. You make it, you make it, you make it. What you, what you, what you make it. You, however you make out of it is what you make yeah. out of it. Is you gonna create your own hustle? If you, you think create. there ain't no money, then ain't no money. If you think there's bread in there, you yeah. gonna get some bread out That's of it. How much you put forward to the shit, and I mean, you gonna get the outcome gonna be there. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like it's just about. I mean, I like I said, bro. I was locked in when I first made my little, and it wasn't even a lot though. But just coming from like I said, working that first job at mm -hmm. the John. Yeah. And making two hundred dollars real quick on a barber tip at fifteen, yeah. charging twenty dollars a head, that was cool. Like I felt like that was a little good day. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, from making from working, trying to work at fucking what's the name, making forty five dollars a, a whole seven hours, and I just made that in fucking way One, less hours, time. Bro, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I said, yeah. Well, yeah, if we can if we could pick this up, this is what we doing. Like, yeah, and you did exactly that, bro. Yeah, bro. You did exactly that, bro. Bro, around pride of you, man. Nah, I for appreciate real, bro. it, bro. Real, real, you know, I mean that heart to heart. You nah, know, bro, for real, bro. Nah, real shit, bro. For real, man. Bro, pride real, right, bro. That shit took that shit took a lot of, and I ain't gonna lie. Like I had a lot of a lot of people that that that, like I said, my mom, she was on my ass about that shit. She like, man. I, when I first got in school, she like, man, I pay for this fucking kit, nigga. You ain't going like fuck yeah, wrong with you, like, yeah, I, like yeah. shit. I'm like, all right, man. For like, real. I still was bullshitting though, but I mean, I, I took heed a little later when I needed to, though. I, like I said, I had to do what I wanted to do first and mm -hmm. see. Damn, that shit wasn't working. Yeah, let what's me go ahead. The, what's the rest of 2024 looking like for you? Shit, all y'all gonna see all trips, yeah. fucking. All fly out joints. They calling me to come cut at weddings and all type. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. To, I'm about to turn it up on the traveling. I ain't travel too Yo, much. Can you turn it up on the content though? No, nah, facts. You, you gotta show people like, yeah, what for shows, sure. Like for real, the day in the life or no, nah, for sure. It's tough because you so focused on being a barber and doing good at your you know your craft that content nah. comes second. But no, nah, it gotta be exposure. a part. It, yeah. I'm, I'm learning how to blend it all together. But no, real shit though. There's gonna be a lot more content. Yeah, I'm gonna have the products. Um, I'm thinking about. I got different names for it, but I just want to get a. Uh, excuse me. I just want to get my logo and all that together so I can start stamping it. Cause I was selling it just out the jars, just on on the hustle yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do it on a business way. You yeah. feel me? E-commerce yeah. and all that. Yeah, yeah. have yeah. have everything on a on a bottle. So instead of me having to keep saying it, you know, you can read it and see yeah. that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like I said, I got the best thing. I got a service, and now I want products. You feel me? Because yeah. the service, you got to be a certain way for your customer. When you got your product, that shit sell itself. You feel and, me? And you have to be somewhere physically when it's a service. When it's a product, you can ship the shit ship it out. LA. I ain't got yeah. So that's more what I'm working on, and just mm -hmm. trying to just do a little bit of everything. Like, all right. so you ain't too big. Tell them you ain't too big to cut anyone's hair. Like, yeah, you're doing no, athletes and and yeah. basketball player whatnot, but you still cut. Yeah, I, I 
Listen, my best clients is the, is the trenches and, right and my best clients <laughs> is the trenches and shit. Like, everybody probably look at it the other way, but not me. Like, because like mm-hmm. I said, the people that's not this, I ain't going to say that the celebrities, they do pay me. But I got clients that pay the same thing as the celebrities, yeah, you feel yeah. me? And I see them way more often, you feel me? Yeah. And they so, would want to, yeah. especially knowing where you came from, you feel me, bro? Yeah, for sure, bro. So, uh, and you good at what you do. I appreciate it, bro. That's yeah. why, I, so people look at it a whole different way than me, you feel me? That's why I tell people, bro, don't let people tell you like, damn, he charged all this money, bro. Come holler at me and we gonna yeah. figure it out. Because once I get you in a chair, that first haircut, you gonna see what everybody was talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it's gonna be like, damn, bro, I see what he, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it is with me, bro. I ain't, I ain't bougie barber boy. I'm still from the trenches. So I, what, I'm you still. You gonna cut white people's hair? I see yeah, you, Lane bro. Johnson. Lane. You know we got different it's hair. Good. No, but Lane Johnson. You know jo- we got different hair. It's crazy <laughs> though. Got the curly. I got. I'm, I'm, bro. I didn't cut Chinese, bro. Yeah. I'm yeah. one of them, bro. Like. I don't know where I got this shit from, but the first day I cut, my teacher like, yo, you a natural. Like, yeah. that shit had me hype, you feel me? That <laughs> yeah. shit like telling me, like, I'm first jumping to a sport. They say, yo, you good. They, I mean, that shit confidence right there, you feel me? That's cool. Show You going to show him as soon as he start with no, him. Bro, he going for right now, bro. Right. What I told you when he came. You the Travis Kelsey ball feed, you feel <laughs> me? Listen, Frank like, yo, bro, he bring his clippers with him? <laughs> no, I, I would have cut you right here while we on this joint, bro. Right. One of them, bro. I, that's content right there, yeah. shit like yeah. that. So no, y'all gonna see me all over the place. I, I fuck around. We're gonna, gonna keep pushing your stuff too. We're gonna keep posting your stuff too. That'd be a crazy yeah. John cutting on the bridge. No, John sure. got to get that on the drone. Yeah, no, that'd for be sure. crazy, bro. That'd no. be crazy. We gonna work on our content together too, bro. Cause I feel like I don't put up uh, put out enough content. Frank always on my top about it, bro. You gotta post more. You gotta post more, and no. that's just me. Getting out of my shell, you feel me, bro? No, nah, real shit, bro. Content yeah, bro. is everything right now, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I'm supposed to be getting paid on all platforms. Yeah, for real, TikTok, bro. TikTok, I don't even follow, know how to do it. Where can that. everyone follow you at? You on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter? It's like, crazy, cause I got YouTubes and all that shit, but I've been had these joints, but I don't promote it or not. I don't even know the names, the logins, but I know my gram is Wanda Barber, W U A N T H E, and Barber all together yeah. is gonna have a couple uh, Two underscores, underscores in the beginning. Yep. And on, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. Well, all they gotta the do is look at the pit. They see all the athletes on there. That's him. Yeah. yeah. Or the or the cool ass nigga on a rock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Real red. Yeah. Real red. Yeah. red. On a trip. Oh, Motherfuckers yeah. can't even make it out the city. You on trips? It's crazy. Yeah, bro. Real, bro. And TikTok is the same thing. Why in the barber? But I, I'm I'm gonna get familiar with all the TikTok and all that. But if I don't get familiar with it, I'm paying somebody, paying somebody. to do it. Yeah. yeah. So there's a a book that I've read. It's uh, Who Not How. Right. So good job. A lot of yeah, a lot of the shit that we trying to do, we don't know how to. So it's so you're always like one person away from doing that. So it's either someone got that information or you gotta pay someone to do it for you. Exactly. So you are gonna either have to learn from somebody or you're gonna have to pay somebody to do it, but it's right. gonna pay off. No, for sure. It gotta it gotta work for you somehow. You gotta yeah. make it work. Mm-hmm. And if I feel like that's how it gotta be, cause I feel like my timing is a little bit, you know, minimized. And it's somebody that's that got time on their hand that could do that, and they good well, at it. Well, you gotta think right? about it. It might take you four hours to do something, and it might take them an hour. Exactly. And you cut a head, a head to pay for it, basically. It's, exactly. So, so that's you so that's, do what you're good at, and let them do what they're good at. Oh yeah, for sure. And mm-hmm. I'm and any any creators, anything, anybody DM reach me, out. y'all see this, y'all reach out, and we, I mean, look up. Lock in with him. Barter, get that haircut. Come film him. So this is about to be a wrap, I think. I think this, this, yeah. is, a, this is probably one of the best joints so yeah, far. Yeah, we touch all bases. No, man. we definitely touch all bases. came right through. You hear me? We appreciate no, for you, man. sure. No, I appreciate y'all, and I and I like what y'all doing, man. Keep doing what y'all doing, Thank, real shit. Sure. Like, yeah. This another platform we got in the city, and it's crazy. We just was talking about platform. Platform is everything, bro. Like I said, this shit, get, this shit gonna get big, bro. Like hey. no diddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like no the platform, the platform, platform, no. definitely, platform, definitely gonna be. You know what I mean, yeah, like, but to keep doing what y'all doing. You know what I mean, empowering the youth and appreciate it, you know, bro. You'll be back tell on the here. Story. Yo, I was about to say that for real, bro. You'll be back, bro. No, for, for sure. I'll definitely be back next time. I'll be up here with a live, a live uh, cut or something like a celebrity yeah. or something. Yeah. Like that. Well, or even mm-hmm. if I like I said, we it's, it's, you might have your own content person following you around by then. No, yeah. for sure. Next time, I definitely killed. I could have had a cameraman. I should have had a cameraman here. Yeah, but I mean, we'll give you you got all this content. We gonna give you anyway. I'm yeah. doing all this from the mustard. This is no, 
I ain't got no no instruction or no no book that's telling me. Yeah, oh, you do learn this, as yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah, I'm learning as I go. So you're right, killing bro. it for me. And you're oh, killing it, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Oh, yeah, appreciate cool, you, bro. So I would tell you cut me, bro, but that joint gonna take like three hours. Nah, <laughs> 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 uh, we gonna get it. We gonna get it done. We gonna get it done, man. Uh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate yeah. you, bro. I love you, gang. Appreciate you.